there's always more to the story with our podcasts. Listen on BBC Sounds. For now, it's a defensive position and can only be activated if the militia attack. They are proud of their democracy, but they also fear it's now under threat from China like never before. Every time the government drops tear gas, people disperse, but the farmers come back. When you're this close to the river, which is a front line, you are always watched, so you have to move quickly. There when the story breaks. BBC News. Follow on the app. Live from London, this is BBC News. Officials in Gaza say 38 people have been killed in Israeli airstrikes. The British Prime Minister has criticised the Reform UK party leader Nigel Farage after he said the West provoked Russia's invasion of Ukraine. No sign of British teenager Jay Slater missing in Tenerife as the search enters its sixth day. Greek police have arrested 13 people on suspicion of causing a wildfire, which has been blamed on fireworks shot from a private yacht. And British and American royalty are pictured together at a concert in London. Hello and welcome, I'm Samantha Simmons. The Hamas government in the Gaza Strip says at least 38 people have been killed in Israeli attacks in several neighbourhoods of Gaza City. Israel says its fighter jets struck Hamas infrastructure. Hamas says the attacks targeted civilians. Separately, the International Committee of the Red Cross says its field hospital is treating badly wounded people, including children, after explosions in a tent camp on Friday, which also damaged its Gaza 